Minister, and I now call the member for Pearce. Madam Deputy Speaker, I rise to make a short contribution to the condolence motion for Philip Hughes, and I do so as a member of parliament representing my 100,000 odd constituents, but also as a proud board member of the Western Australian Cricket Association and as a person who has held a lifelong love of the game inherited from my grandfather and fostered obsessively by my mother. Last Friday, returning from Canberra and watching my wife digging through a grey nicks bag for an old bat to place next to a tattered Greg Chapel wide brim hat, all placed at the front of our house in tribute to the loss of a fine young cricketer, was a deeply sombre experience. Even when middle age reduces playing to the odd social game, the opening of a cricket bag on any other occasion is without more just a simple joy. The cricket bag is one of those needle hooks of experience that drags the mind back to wonderful things. The smell from zinc stained whites, <clears throat> usually unwashed from the last rare match, ignites the summer corner of the brain. The mere sight of the strange artefacts in a cricket bag revives the collage of memories which are better than the best of dreams. The cricket bag is the treasure trove of youth, of summer, of friends, the pursuit of simple and beautiful things. Cricket is the greatest game on earth. Everything good about sport and life is to be found somewhere inside cricket. So the opening of a cricket bag in mourning rather than joy was something that hundreds of thousands of Australians would have done for the first time in their lives last week. And opening a cricket bag in sadness rather than joy is something that none of us would ever have thought that we would ever do. Phil Hughes, by every single account, was just one of those guys, one of the few that embody all the best things about the pursuit of a great game at the very heart of Australian life. And cricket is not a skill that just happens, it's a craft that only a handful of completely brilliant people can master over decades. And even then, it is only mastered if they are willing to offer the sport itself their complete and utter dedication. Sometimes the sporting personalities who can combine natural talent with the single-mindedness that the game requires can be as difficult as they are admirable. But the picture that emerges of Phil Hughes is very clear and very simple, that he was one of those diamonds of the game, a combination of amazing athletic skill and personal discipline wedded together in a way that combined to produce a rare optimism and a redoubtable person. In losing someone like this, Australia is confronting one of those singular events that forces us to withdraw briefly from the busy swim of our lives and sit just for a while on the bank. I recalled the biography of the greatest ever Scottish sportsman, the heroic Eric Liddell. In that, the biographer in the preface felt compelled to make the point that, after the endless interviews and research for the biography, they were astounded by the simple fact that not a single person in the hundreds that they had interviewed had a single bad thing to say about the great runner. So it is clearly to be said of Philip Hughes. To be so good at something so great and so loved as cricket, and to also be the best of teammates, of friends and of people is the rarest of things and to lose the best of us doing something we all love as much as he did is why our mourning is so profound. To Philip's family, I extend today every conceivable sympathy. Thank you, the member for Pearce. I now call